It's 7 p.m. here in Moscow. Let's get straight to our top story this hour. Members of the Syrian opposition say they would welcome Russia mediating talks with Syrian authorities. The reaction came after Russia's foreign minister talks with President Bashar al-Assad in Damascus following the meeting. Sergei Lavrov said Moscow will continue its efforts to settle the crisis in the Middle Eastern country. Artesia Gorpiskinov reports from Syria's capital. Uh, Russia's foreign minister is sent back President Assad, and this is the result of their meeting. Uh, President Assad is ready for dialogue with the opposition. Basically, the uh, political elite is, is ready to hold the dialogue with the opposition. Our approach is based on a clear and simple goal, to stop civilian deaths. The region needs peace. Syria needs peace. It is clear that efforts to end the violence need to go along with the start of a meaningful dialogue between all political sides. Today, we've received confirmation from the Syrian president of his readiness to participate in that process. We will continue to work with various opposition groups, but anyone who has more influence on them than Russia should also work with them. Another important uh, issue is that uh, Syrian authorities are giving the green light to allow more uh, monitors from the Arab League here inside the country, including uh, sending them to the most uh, violent area, violent spots, so they could see with their own eyes uh, the situation there. Another important issue that uh, the Russian foreign minister has just mentioned following his meeting with the president is that uh, President Assad is about to meet with the commission, which has been working on the text of a new constitution of the country. We're supposed to meet with this commission in the near future. According to the Russian foreign minister, the uh, date of a nationwide referendum is uh, going to be announced also quite shortly. Uh, this referendum is going to be of a new constitution.